Hey, what's up, guys? Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Hope everyone's having a great day hunting out there for the next big thing. And I think I think I could confidently talk about this this error that was originally discovered just over a month ago, and uh, now we have a lot more data coming in on this uh, this brand new error coin that's being found on 2022 Washington quarters. Now, as you guys are aware of. Uh, we are in a new era. We have a new Washington Quarter series that features American women across, um, what's, what is that, 20 different designs, uh, four years, five different designs per year. And um, as it turns out, a lot of that's being found is stuff that's really not new to, uh, to the errors that have been originally found. Uh, I would say going back to about 2015, 2016. Only within the last couple years, it's been um, picking up a lot of traction, uh, especially during the pandemic. A lot of people are beginning to were beginning to collect into these errors, therefore driving the prices up on a lot of them. And we're kind of seeing that again in 2022. Whatever the U.S. Mint is doing uh, to facilitate these specific errors. It's not changing. Uh, I, I would say the, the quality control aspect, just the overall maintenance of the dyes and things in the, uh, of that nature, um, has gone by the wayside even going into 2022. So we're going to take a look at these specific errors. We're going to take a look at a few different progressions. We're going to talk a little bit about why these are happening. And then ultimately, we're going to talk about how much these are selling for on the secondary market. I think right now, the prices will surprise you. And then number two, believe it or not, there is a lot of room for these coins because it's still so early on to see tons of growth. Like I would definitely invest in a few of these, um, especially the more advanced progression stages of these coins. Now we've seen some doozies here in the last few years. Okay. So, I mean, this year, People are making a really great big deal out of these die chips on the brand new quarters. You know, we've seen them in both the Maya Angelou and the Sally Rye quarters, the only two American Women Series quarters that have released for 2022. The third one, I believe, is releasing in June sometime. Uh, but these specific little die breaks that occur right on the corner of mouth have had a number of different types of... Um, nicknames i we've heard the drool die chip we've heard the herpes die chip haha ha, you know that one's a little bit funnier than the rest but these you know have have really surprised the market uh from the get-go um as you can see from this picture which by the way is credited to re stuff on ebay re stuff uh sells quite a few of these three coin progression sets and this is his image right here now, you could see that there is a small, kind of like, I would say, they're using large, so we'll just go with large, and then the most extreme-sized die chip here. Um, they, these are the three different types that you could find, in addition to the, the pre-interior die break, which um, normally kind of like features like a border of where that die chip is starting to progress. You're going to see some of those as well, but they don't sell for, for really a whole lot of money. The three coin sets that you see here uh, it used to be that the most extreme version of this die chip has been selling for about 30 to 40 bucks all by itself. And this was through the first 30 days of its discovery. Uh, this coin right here has been around, by the way, the Maya Angelou quarter has been around since late January. It got a, it, it received a very early release. Uh, so yeah, this thing's been around. Uh, prices have stabilized and dropped to a much more manageable level. Uh, a three coin progression set like this has been selling for around thirty bucks. So you just see the overall market on that. So that is the um, the what's out there in 2022. Another thing on a m little bit more minor note, um, there's also the uh, the nesting bird Maya Angelou error, which shows just a simple die gouge uh, right right where the eagle's beak is. Um, those have since dropped down to about five to ten bucks, uh, but they're more on the minor end, and people are finding those in pretty healthy quantities. Uh, so it's nothing that you could retire on necessarily, um, but you sell enough of them, they all kind of add up. 
All right, so some of the more recent, uh, like, major players in this uh, particular strikethrough error, that's what we're looking at here for the new quarters, has been the American Samoa back quarter that you see here. Now, you notice that there's a great big kind of uh, crevice right above the main bat feature of the reverse of this quarter. Man, this is the thing that, that just gained all sorts of wildfire when it first released, but I also distinctly remember when this coin was first discovered, they were really only selling for between 25 and 50 bucks. I mean, it's not that nobody was really paying attention to them, but the market hadn't quite caught up to the importance of this quarter. Uh, this was probably one of the most biggest modern kind of errors that we had seen up to this point in 2020. This is the one that kind of originated um, the things here. Uh, and it really shows you that a well-placed anomaly on a quarter of any error type is going to strike up a lot more interest than say something that has a little strike through say in the fields of, of the obverse of the quarter uh which you know is still a pretty neat error uh, it doesn't have quite the cachet as one like say the strike through encompassing the entire face of that bat um but uh this is something to keep also keep an eye out for see these little parallel lines right here that's uh kind of diagonally being scratched across the uh the fields here that's something that you guys need to be aware of because that that little nugget of uh, um, uh photography on this coin is going to give you guys a little insight as to what's causing these strike throughs throughout the last like six seven years of coinage uh but this is the most uh relevant one these coins graded have sold in excess of $1,000. They are truly one of the most important errors to have ever been discovered here in the last couple of years. And then here's another one that you guys are well in tune with. I've talked about this coin quite often on my pocket change market reports, but it's the 2021 P Tuskegee Airmen uh, quarter. Uh, it's the final release of the America the Beautiful quarter series uh, that came out early last year. And uh, these feature a well-placed strike through, much like similar to that American Samoa this time, it's right on top of the building. All right, so uh, it gives it the appearance that the building's on fire. I mean, this is scenery from like World War II right here. Uh, so there was a lot of uh, fighting and, and um, it, you know, it, just all sorts of different things going on. The world was certainly in turmoil during this period. Lots of uh, lots of skirmish, skirmishes, battles, a lot of buildings were destroyed, things of that nature. Uh, so this kind of like lends a, a lot of the, um, kind of combines the history and the turmoil of its time, even though the Tuskegee Airmen um, is an important, you know, group of guys in aviation. Uh, during its time and that's how they commemorated this quarter for Alabama uh, but these coins have sold as high as $300 um, not too long after release these things were hot right out of the gate it was you know they didn't have time to kind of nurture into that price point um, I remember the first few examples started out for you know between like one to two hundred dollars um, especially these ones with the dual event you could see the two different strike throughs right there uh, but these quarters, man, they were picked up all over the place. The highest graded specimens, I'm sure, were graded, uh, but they haven't quite hit the market. All we've seen are a lot of raw examples of this quarter. And even to this day, any example will uh, generally command between $50 and $150. The market has settled down, but it's certainly not a coin you should ignore um, necessarily because they still carry quite a bit of value. All right, so the coin that we're going to focus on are going to be on both the Maya Angelou and the Sally Ride. And I would speculate that we're going to see these on the last three designs for the American Women Quarters in 2022. Now, unfortunately, like the previous coins, these can only be found on the Philadelphia Minted Example. So you guys there on the West Coast, you know, unless you order quarters from the East Coast somewhere, you're probably not going to be able to find these just by picking up rolls. Uh, so these are the strike throughs that we're seeing on these brand new quarters. They're being found only on the obverse of the quarter. But these, ladies and gentlemen, have um, beaten out those little drool die chips. They've beaten out the little twig nesting uh, reverse on there. Uh, this is the brand new 
most relevant strike through that you'll find and you you find any quarter they're all going to have a different shape of the strike through event and i have about four or five quarters that i'm going to show to you guys um that'll show different sizes and different shapes all right and uh, the reason why that there are and these are two different quarters by the way that you're seeing here that's why the event on the left side looks a lot bigger than the strike through on the right side on that other quarter um, the big reason why that these are shaped differently is that the grease and debris that sits on the actual die during the strikes uh, are pushed around, all right? Uh, these are actually referred to as field-restricted strikethroughs. That's where the, uh, uh, the feeder finger actually scrapes atop the die, you know, intermittently, uh, and it'll push around whatever grease glob is on there. So you're going to get different, different kind of types of shapes and sizes they're going to be in different positions on the actual die phase things like that but they all seem to be around the same general area in this case it's going to be right above the ponytail behind the ear and sometimes going into the neck now the strike throughs that we have encountered on both the sally ride and the maya angelou are actually in a little bit different position i'm going to show you that here momentarily these two coins that you see here before you are both on the sally rides there seem to be more of them being found on Sally Ride quarters than they are on Maya Angelou. So there's a, a much bigger kind of impacted close-up of uh, the previous image. Um, and you can see just the strike through goes into the word God. It goes all the way across the ponytail. And it kind of like flays in here into the neck region. Uh, so yeah, this one's really jacked up. That's a pretty neat looking effect. And no, this is not damage. Although a well-placed hit will do a similar type of event on there. Um, but you'll also get some of the pass-through of the metal on the reverse showing that the metal is being bent at this point. Uh, here's another one right here. Uh, as you can see, this one has a little bit smaller event, but the strike-through goes right here more into the top of the, uh, the neck region behind the ear. Uh, so the back of the neck, that area. So this is a much more amagulous type of formation here here's another one here as well completely different coin you can see that this takes on a more crescent shaped type of strike through event again same general area a really you know right good size formation right there here's another one right here this one was a little bit smaller but you can see it go through the ponytail and then a little bit right here uh like behind the ear kind of like mid midway toward the top of the ear so you begin to see that as well. And then just a little kind of a scathe area here uh, right on the neck. So it's a much smaller event. And here's another one too. Although the picture is uh, very out of focus on this one. Uh, but this one shows a really nice sized event. Uh, again, probably not as uh, extreme as the first example that we saw up with the close up. Yeah, but this one right here is a pretty sizable example. And these all, by the way, are Sally Ride um, reverse quarters. Now, here is an example of what the Maya Angelou strike through would look like. Uh, and believe it or not, the strike through on this one is isolated solely on the neck area. Now, this picture does not do this particular coin justice, uh, but this is a coin right here. That features a strike through, a field restricted style of error strike through um, that is shifted down and to the right uh, toward the top of the neck. And uh, really, none of that is on the actual hair portion of good old uh, Mr. Georgie Boy over here. Uh, so that's Maya Angelou. Now, let's talk a little bit about pricing because that's the big reason why you're here. Uh, so there have been very few market sales. All the while, there's probably about a good maybe 8 to 10 available listings. And they all seem to fall in that kind of like $50 to $75 range uh, with no bites yet. Okay, so th this might tell a little bit of a story of whether or not these are going to hit legendary status similar to the American Samoa Quarter or the Tuskegee Airmen Burning Building. But we have these two coins here. As you can tell, they are really recent sales. Uh, the top one is a May 6th, 2022. This was actually the coin I highlighted earlier in this video. $94 shipped is what that one sold for. And that has, at this point in time, been the most expensive example of this 
type of field restricted strike through error that we have seen on the open market thus far. We also have that secondary one that you see there as well. Uh, there's a letter D there that's on a little piece of yellow paper. Uh, that's not the mint mark. This is indeed a Philadelphia minted example as well. This time on a Maya Angelou, uh, as you can see, the strike through is on the neck portion. It's a little small, but uh, this particular coin also has a dual error with that corner of mouth die chip. This one right here, after doing a little research on 130 point, did sell for $75. So someone put in a best offer of $75, right? Uh, it doesn't make quite enough sense, but that's what it sold for. And then here's a couple more uh, of the Maya Angelou strike throughs. Uh, and you'll see this is actually a much better picture, even though it has all of the eBay data that goes along with it. These were sold much earlier on. Uh, April 1st, this was right around the time when these were first discovered. Uh, I even talked about these two separate examples on an edition of the P Pocket Change Market Report during that time. Each one sold for 30 bucks. Uh, these are actually the earliest recorded examples, uh, sold examples, uh, actually, of this event. You can see that that event just really isolated on the neck area. Uh, doesn't really enter the hairline area. And this one right here is a, a little bit further south and to the left, but still not touching the hair area. Uh, really good job by the seller. Uh, with the close-ups, that's kind of going to be kind of like the uh, the most important aspect of trying to resell these is getting really good images of this event as, as best as you can. But there you go. Those are the two earliest sold examples. Again, there's probably been about five or six examples that have sold on the open market. These two here represent the low end, the earliest of sales. It's going to kind of uh, be a wait-and-see moment what the other three quarters will look like if indeed there are going to be similar events. Um, the minting process has kind of changed. The obverse dies are actually now the anvil dies. Okay, they're stationary. They don't, they don't move anywhere. And uh, that might be a game changer as to why we won't see any of these strike throughs on the, uh, what I like to call the, the uh, uh, what was it? The, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word, uh, the money shot portion of the coin which is the coin with the subject feature for the american women um, that's probably why we're not going to see these events on the reverse side of the coin which is unfortunate that seems to be where a lot of the interest is is hey you know the american samoa bat face is completely missing that's why we're not going to see a completely missing sally ride face strike through on this is because they changed the dies um, you know, the hammer die is now the reverse die. The anvil die is now the obverse die. And as long as the die is stationary and doesn't move, it's going to hold that strike through, that grease residual on the die. And it's not going to have the opportunity to fall off as if, say, it was on the, uh, the hammer die, the part that's moving and doing a lot more of the action during the strike. So this is what I wanted to talk about. This is a really neat kind of like progression that we're seeing here, uh, we are kind of the in an infancy stage of the market of these quarters. I would certainly keep an eye out and see where these things are going to head because I would imagine the bigger the strike through, the more that they're going to be worth. Maybe we might see some other type of uh, iteration where we're going to see a much bigger strike through that even covers part of Washington's face. You better believe that that coin is going to be extremely desirable. If you could get in on the ground floor of those as they're being discovered and people are asking, say, 30 bucks like this one here, I would certainly pick those up. But also, don't ignore these coins. We've seen the prices move up by about double on these examples, uh, whether it's the Maya Angelou or the Sally Ride. And we will certainly see these same uh, events on all the other quarters for the rest of the year. Really depends on how much the U.S. Mint tightens up their quality control again. Um, and, you know, it'll be fun to see. And uh, these are going to be coins that are going to be hotly pursued. They already are. Um, but there are very few sales of these coins. There's very few on the open market. You might want to pay attention and see if you can pick one up on the cheap. And when I mean cheap, for under 50 bucks would be a huge score. Because this might be a coin that you could sell later on in the year 
because it's going to be a much better mid-state condition for a lot more money. I can envision these possibly hitting $100 to $150, uh, depending on the size of the strikethrough. I think the Sally Ride ones are going to be like the hottest ones up to this point, but I'm willing to bet that we're going to see some pretty uh, pretty ridiculous sized strikethroughs uh, sometime this year. And we're also going to see it on pennies, nickels, dimes, and, uh, you know, maybe some other denominations like a half dollar. I, I doubt it because those aren't produced for circulation, uh, but you never know. Uh, there could be something really ridiculous in the works uh, that the U.S. Mint will overlook, and um, these will be released. We've already seen a few, so go ahead and yeah, go, go hunt out these. Uh, they're going to be um, a, a constant and reliable seller on eBay. But that's going to go ahead and do it, guys. would love to hear your thoughts. Have you found any of these strike-through quarters to this point? These are all fantastic finds to look for. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. It was sure a pleasure. You guys take care. Happy hunting. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next coined video. So long.